Hey guys! So I'm back again and I'm doing a video on products I do regret buying and just do not like at all. Like, at all. I don't like them. They are just, ugh. And I have one, two, three, four, five. I have six of them because most of the other products I really like that I buy, but these ones, like, for some reason, they were just, like, really bad or, like, I don't even know how to use them and stuff. Ugh. I didn't like it. But I will start off with, hmm, my MAC 225 brush. I honestly don't know what I was thinking when I bought this brush because I don't even know what to use it for. Like, I just bought it because I was at MAC and I was buying a bunch of brushes. And I don't know, like, this was the one brush that I just didn't research up on. Like, it's like a big fluffy brush, but, like, I don't know if I can, I should use it for blending. Like, it's very, very, um, fluffy. So, I don't know what to use for. If you can tell me what I can use it for, I would like to try to use this because it was, like, a big expense in my wallet. And, yeah, so I would appreciate if you could comment below and tell me what this is for. And you, maybe I'll get some use out of it or maybe it'll just be hiding in my makeup closet so whatever and then um the Sephora Perfection Primer comes in this tubey it's about twenty dollars and I really hate this I tried it on my face it made my face so oily during the day like it was so oily and it was just really bad. I didn't like it at all. And it would sting my face too. So I hated this like a lot. Like I tried it out for about a week and it was just so bad. It would just sting my face. Um, and I just don't, ugh. I know I'm doing a lot of ughs, but like that's what it looks like. Like it gives you a bit of a shine, but it's a bit too sparkly. Um, so, I don't know. I just don't like it. I would invest if you want to get a good primer. Um, get, like, a really good primer that will last you long. Like, the um, Photo Finish. Um, what's that company called? Smashbox. Or, I love the uh, Matte by MAC. Um, that's really good. If you have oily skin, it'll stop it from being so oily during the day, and it'll just hold up your pores and stuff. But, yeah, this is really bad. Don't buy this unless you tried it and it works for you. I wouldn't suggest you buying this at all. Nah. And, hmm. I went to my drugstore, and I bought this NYC, um... Thing. and I thought for some reason that this would actually look good but it was so bad like this is um called the mod quad and it was on sale so I thought I'd get it and these are so badly pigmented like there's no pigment in them whatsoever like these will fade on you after five minutes I'm not even kidding. You're going to have to, like, go through one whole little square to, like, get on anything. Like, you would have to buy millions of these just so you can use one per day because these are so badly pigmented. I hate these. I, like, I absolutely... No, no. Their eyeliner is good, but this didn't do anything for me. So I really... Ugh. Forget about that, honey. Don't ever buy that. Um, but yeah. I do a lot of but yeahs. Okay. This one. I honestly don't know why I bought it. This is Makeup Forever. Um, mineral loose powder or whatever. Okay. Look at that color. 
and look at my face. Well, sorry. This makes my face look orange. I don't know why I bought this. I think I was really retarded at that point in Sephora. Like, I ran out of the line, quickly grabbed it, and thought it would be my shade and stuff. And then I put it on my face, and it's orange. And then I realized, I looked at the back of it, and I'm like, this is freaking orange. Like, if I put it on my face, I will resemble a carrot. A literal carrot. Li I don't even know if that made sense, but... I'll look like a carrot with this. I was like, Ugh. like I ruined my makeup. Um, I think I was going to work one day, and right before that, I thought I'd try this out to kind of set my face and stuff. And my face was orange, dude. Like, ugh. maybe if I get tanned more, I can get some use out of this, or maybe I can try using it as like a light bronzer, but if you put a lot of this, you will look like a carrot if you bought the same shade as me, or whatever. Um, unless your, um, it matches your skin tone, because this is just too orange for me, too orange. Oh, too dark. And then the next one is Crystal Avalanche. You guys know I do not like this color. I used it as a highlight before because it was the only, like, white that I could find. But, oh, I'll just show you. That's such a, like, frosty white color. So bad for highlighting. Like, I hate it. Hate it, hate it. The lady suggested it to me. I thought it was okay when I bought it. And then I started using it, and I'm like, oh, I look like Frosty the Snowman with it. Like, ran into my eyes, and then, like, if your face gets like oily during the day because before I never used to use any primers or whatever so right up here would get oily and then it would just frost even more it would look even more shimmery and stuff so it was no it didn't work for me no. and then the next thing I'm going to talk about people may be so surprised about it it's the Hypnos Mascara this thing is so bad it made my eyelashes clumpy. It was just awful. Like, I tried it three times already, and I could not work with it. It was so bad, so I really don't like this. And I know a lot of people like this, but it was just so bad for me. I don't like the wand at all. It picks up too much product out of it, and I just don't like it. So, I don't know what to do with that. I'm just, It's just going to sit in my makeup closet with my other stupid stuff that I'm really sad that I bought because I wasted money on it and yeah and so that pretty much concludes it um I'm also putting a video it should be up before this one um it's on the products that I'm really loving at the moment so you guys should go and check that out and yeah I will see you guys tomorrow bye guys